This is the continuation to my intro. This is actually the configurations of a repeater bridge. Basically, as a recap, the repeater bridge is an internet, a modem, and a router, and your second router. There. And the second router has, as you can see, wired connections as two personal computers and wireless connections such as the Xbox 360 and a laptop. As well as the first router it has a laptop, T Mobile cell phone, and a PSP wirelessly, and a personal computer connected wired. What we're going to do is we're going to first set up a standard client bridge, which is basically, as a recap, a standard client bridge means that the second router only has connections via a wired connection, no wireless connections at all. The reason we're going to do this is because if we do the repeater bridge first, uh, you usually won't be successful. So we're going to set up the standard client bridge, then we're going to change it to a repeater bridge. Um, I strongly recommend that you back up your settings um, before you even do this, okay? I strongly suggest that because um, once you save those bin files to your um, hard disk drive, you can um, restore them later if something goes wrong. Basically, we're going to focus on the second router. On the second router, we're going to go ahead and set that to a factory defaults, okay? <clears throat> now, they're gonna, you're going to go to where it says uh, setup and you're going to go to basic setup. On the basic setup, you're going to see where it says connection type. You're going to see it says disabled and your router name is going to be named something default. You're going to change that to disabled. You're going to name it something in this fictional setup. We're going to name the router second router. On the local IP address, um, it was uh, 192.168.1.1 and the gateway was all zeros. We're going to match that of the first router. As you can see here, you see that I changed the last number to a 2 and the gateway now says 192.168.1.1 and then we're going to click where it says assign WAN port to switch. You're going to put a check mark there and we're going to go further down in the page. You're going to see where it says DHCP server. You're going to see it says enable. You're going to click right here where it says disable. Once you do that, you go down to apply, you hit save. Then you're going to click um, security and the firewall. You're going to uncheck all the filters and you're going to disable the SPI firewall. Usually by clicking disable, that disables all the filters anyway, but just in case, uncheck them anyway. Um, hit apply, then hit save. Then go to wireless under basic settings. You're going to go to wireless mode. You're going to see it's under an access point. And you're going to change that to a client bridge. You're going to go to wireless mo um, network name. The SSID, you're going to name it that of your first router. In this fictional setup, the first router is called first router. And the wireless channel, you're going to make sure it matches that of your first router as well. The SSID broadcast is enabled. You're going to go ahead and click disabled. And the network configuration, make sure it says bridge. If everything's good, then hit apply, hit save. Then go to wireless security. Under wireless security, make sure it just matches the wireless security you have for your first router. For this fictional setup, I have a WPA personal with a TKIP algorithm. After that, hit apply, hit save. Then go to advanced settings. Under advanced settings, you're going to see the authentication type is under auto. You're going to hit shared key. Once you hit share key, just hit apply, hit save. Then click at the top where it says status, click wireless. That brings you to the page where you've made some of your changes. You'll see everything in this area should match that of your first router. And then just most importantly, you hit site survey. Once you hit site survey, your neighbor's wireless networks comes up. You're going to pull up a couple of routers in your neighborhood if there are any. Most importantly, your first router. You hit join with your first router. Then you're going to go ahead and it's going to bring you back to this page where you are, which is uh, the wireless basic settings where basically you made the changes earlier. If everything matches, just hit apply, hit save, and basically as a test, I hit um, status and wireless and everything in this page matched, and you should see the first router's um, MAC um, address and information and signal strength under access points and clients. Congratulations, that's now a client bridge router. Um, that's fine if that's what you want, and you could just basically, you know, use that router as a client bridge router. I still strongly recommend that you back up your safe, um, your your bin file somewhere on your hard disk drive, and you should probably name that folder client bridge. Moving forward, we're going to continue and go ahead and make the changes from a client bridge to a repeater bridge. And basically, it's just fine tuning a couple of things. Click wireless, click basic settings. Under wireless mode, you change that from client bridge to repeater bridge. And the SSID broadcast is disabled, so you go ahead and you enable that. And then you're going to go ahead and go down to where it says add. 
and the virtual interfaces hit add and that's where you're going to put in the information for your second router you this fictional setup it's second router SSID broadcast enabled and the network configuration again is bridged everything there is matches go ahead and hit apply hit save then go ahead and go to wireless security make sure that they both match as you can see I have a WPA person with a TKIP algorithm for both routers and it's the same exact password because we hit shared key earlier so we're gonna hit apply we're gonna hit save then we're gonna click status we're gonna click wireless and that's gonna bring up the page again things here should match that of your first router you're gonna hit site survey you're gonna hit join with your first router it's gonna take you back to the wireless um, area with the basic settings but this area is now having both physical and virtual interface information for first and second router if everything is good then just hit apply hit save and as a test again click status click wireless it should match all of your information from earlier on the access points and clients you should again see your first router Mac information as well as your signal strength and congratulations that is now a repeater bridge router if you do not know how to do this um, just from the pictures or if the YouTube video is not the best basically go to dd-wrt website and look up the um, written information where you can follow it uh, step by step I just did this tutorial just to assist and if you have uh, if you really want the video just let me know leave a note on the um, on the vid on the page on YouTube and I'll probably send you the video with much better quality okay thank you for watching